Hello everyone. I just wanted to make this really quick video. Um, I'm going to take the skin off of that. I don't like the skin on my chicken. So what I made the other day was some chicken. I boiled some chicken with some bell pepper and hot um, bell pepper and um, onions and and some garlic and carrots. I like the carrots in there. Not only gives it nice color, but it gives it beta carotene. And so you can see the bell peppers. And I cooked that aside until the chicken was tender. Then it's it's almost like a bone broth because it becomes gelatinous, which is nice. So now what I did was I sauteed some more bell peppers, tomatoes, um, onions, if you want to add some garlic to that, and more carrots to that. Carrots, onions, tomatoes, and garlic, um, and bell pepper. And then I added the chicken to that. And I'm taking all the skin off as much as possible. But I'm leaving the bone on because that's where you're getting your bone broth, okay? It's good collagens in there and healthy stuff. And then in a separate pot, I made some, some spaghetti. And so I seasoned this, back to this, I seasoned it with a little bit of oregano. Um, I seasoned it with a little bit of some Mediterranean. It melted because I had it on the stove and it, I didn't realize how hot it got. And then some, some of this wood fire garlic and a little bit of chili California molida, which is ground, and some New Mexico chili powder. And then I added a little bit of cumin. I love that rustic flavor. So that rustic, the cumin with the, um, with the oregano, I would give it a nice rustic flavor. And then I added, I had some pasta. Um, I, I already had sauteed some um, tomatoes that were kind of going bad. And I, there's a couple bay leaves in there from my friend's garden. Him and his wife, they're, they're, they, they have a beautiful garden in their backyard. And so I went ahead and I boiled it. I'm boiling it and then I seasoned it with a little bit of salt and not too much, and some pepper of course i'm gonna i add plenty of pepper because my mom used to use a lot of pepper with her seasonings um so and you could use the white pepper or the black pepper i use the black pepper and i just want to make sure that's flavorful and seasoning seasoned well and at this point if you want to add some more vegetables to that you can like zucchini cabbage and um, this is what I call my little spaghetti soup. Instead of having plain spaghetti, you could just have a spaghetti soup. See, all I am is just reheating that chicken and just adding the spaghetti. And I'm telling you, this is so good. Your kids will love it. Um, it's high in carbs, but <laughs> I'm going to eat it. <laughs> I probably shouldn't be. But, oh well. This is my comfort food. And it's better than snacking on, on junk. So this is healthy. For me, it is. It's healthier than most foods. But really, I'm supposed to lose some weight. But, oh well. I we had a bad, bad news this week. So, and I like doing a comfort food so this used to be like called like what mama used to call sopa you see how pretty that is oh that's so good I wish I had someone to share this with mm, mm, mm. it's real easy so all you do is you boil your meat one day and then you transfer into a soup a spaghetti soup and and it's so delicious like i said if you want to add i'm going to add probably some zucchini that i found in there i'm going to stick it in there 
and then enjoy. Okay, talk to you later.